Sunday night. Boo. Hi Phil. Hi Van. Hi Lisa. Hi Zwan. How are we all doing? Hi Tara. Nice to see you all in. It's good stuff. How are we all doing this fine Sunday evening or afternoon in, in, if, if you're Tara? <laughs> uh, hopefully you're all good. Hopefully you've all had a decent weekend. Hopefully you've all scrubbed your eyeballs having seen a topless Zwan at the ice hockey. <laughs> As they say in Merry Scotland. Merry Christmas, you filthy knee animal. Need. <laughs> and a happy new year. <laughs> it's all happening. It's all happening. Thanks, Lisa. I appreciate the bits. Um, yes, if you happen to stray into the Discord and uh, seen Zwan's terrible performance at the ice hockey, this is obviously just as he was realising that maybe he should stop drinking. Um x-rated stuff definitely not suitable for work but but highly amusing at the same time well played sir yeah hopefully you've had a good weekend uh, i've had a good one it's fairly relaxed 
Uh, not looking forward to going back to work tomorrow, but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking mm, it's getting closer to Christmas now. So in my brain, <laughs> it's gearing down. I've also got my office Christmas party on Friday, which I'm not really looking forward to um, because I've got travel two and a half hours to get to it in the first place. But uh, yeah, so I won't be streaming on Friday this week. Uh, so I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm looking forward to Christmas. Definitely looking forward to Christmas. But um, yeah, I've got to get a couple of things out of the way. I'm going up to see my folks this weekend, way up in the north of Scotland. So How are you? I, I will not be uh, streaming on Friday. Um, probably won't be streaming all weekend, to be fair, because I won't get, be back until late on Sunday. So the plan of action today, uh, or this week, sorry, is to do Shadows of Doubt, um, which I'll speak about in a second, tonight, and then start a new game tomorrow and Wednesday called the Payne's Creek Killings. So I'm taking a slight sidestep on the horror stuff at the moment because I just, I, I feel like I'm kind of burning myself out and seeing exactly the same thing over and over again. Um, so it's more of a murder mystery whodunit type thing this week. Um, the Payne's Creek, hey Dan, how are we doing? Hopefully you're good. Um, yeah, Payne's Creek Killings, I know very little about other than the fact it's got very, very, very good ratings on Steam um, and that I think it's a bit of a you're a detective and you're trying to work out how these murders have happened which sounds quite interesting I'm not quite sure how we do that whether there's a mechanic to it or whether we're just sort of going about pointing and clicking or whatever but as I say it's got fantastic ratings on Steam so we'll give that a, a shout uh, Lisa enjoy your lurk thank you very much for the bits as always um, and then tonight we are looking at <laughs> you love the turkey hat, yeah. <laughs> Blame Kerry for that one. Um, I wouldn't have bought it if I hadn't seen it uh, in the Discord and thought, oh, that looks fantastic. And I have to say, the quality is far better than I expected it Merry to be. Merry Christmas, you filthy <laughs> Thanks, Phil. And a happy new year. <laughs> here we go. Oh, no, Phil and Van are here tonight. That's not good. Um, yes, Shadows of Doubt. Again, I've seen a bit of this game. Um... It's procedurally generated and it's still in early access, so there may be a couple of bugs here and there, but it still looks pretty polished. Um, and essentially, you play a sort of detective guy who's going about and you, you take on various cases uh, in order to build up money, I think, and, and reputation, and uh, you go about the city trying to solve crimes. So, yeah, it'll be an interesting one. Uh, it's a bit different to what I normally play, but when I've seen other people play it, I thought that actually looks quite intriguing. Don't know whether it will become a sort of regular f fixture or feature or whatever on the channel, but uh, I did feel kind of moved to... Here's Kerry. Um, yeah, I thought, let's have a go at it and let's see what people think. And if it's one of those um, that people like then I might do it uh, a few more times in the future. But I think it's it's more of a... Yeah, it's, it's not a, it, I don't think it's it's got a beginning, a middle and an end. I think it's got a number of cases that you can do and you get to an ending finally. Um, but it's not like it's got a story running through it. I think it's all just randomly generated and you just work your way through getting to it. So I, I, from what I've seen, it's pretty impressive. Here's Banshee. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it met immediately, but it didn't realise you're onto it. <laughs> yeah, a bonus episode. Although I have to say, <laughs> the mayhem has started. Nightmare. Um, yeah, bonus episode tonight. Although I, I've started doing more Sunday streams for some bizarre reason. I think Mother Half just wants to get rid of me, really, so she can watch various things on Netflix, etc. So I won't pass up the opportunity. Um, so yes, here we go. Yes, always the start of the uh, the stream there. So um, yeah, there's there's various redeems there, the UP one, etc. Uh, and I've kind of got bits and pieces. In. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Indeed, they may well be. So we need to find out what that's uh, all about. However, we do have to start the stream today uh, with uh, a bit of a belated How redemption um, because. Van a couple of nights ago redeemed 10 minutes of trombone which I didn't actually do so as it's um, <laughs> as it's a bit of a scuffed 
extra um, episode tonight. I think we'll start there and we'll do 10 minutes of trombone champ. If nobody's seen this before, or then it's fairly mental. Um, I'm not very good at it. I only bought it because I thought it looked funny on somebody else's stream. And then I thought, oh, Jesus, it's actually quite difficult. <laughs> and I started to play it, but it is a bit of a laugh. So um, we'll probably start with that just for a bit of comedy value. Uh, and then we'll crack on with Shadows of Doubt, as I say, because uh, I think it's more of a tutorial thing today uh, just to understand how it all works. Where's the turkey hat? Well, yeah, the turkey hat, you know, you can redeem for the turkey hat. Um, there is something in there in the channel points now. Uh, suggested by Banshee, so I thought, why not? Let's get uh, let's get that in there. Um, so, I think, without further ado, let's uh, stop that, and we shall. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's on the hockey game video you've seen on Discord, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, well, here we go then. Kerry has redeemed it, so it has to be done. Two seconds. Right, where are we? There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Fantastic. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh my god, it's really hot. That's why I thought I can only wear this for about 10 minutes at a time because it's absolutely... It's roasting. <laughs> so we're going to go with that. Um, very dashing, I must say. Thanks very much. Uh... <laughs> I like his wee hat. He's got the Bloodborne hat on. He's rocking the, the old Yarnum. Yarnum look. <laughs> You might have to wear it all night. I'll need to take it off at certain points because, my God, as I say, it really does get your head hot. Um, ooh, okay. Right. Uh, play. Right, Van. Is there, uh, is there a tune you <laughs> 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off, yes. Oh, that's quite cool. But let's play that one. Oh, it's a bit of a... <laughs> that was pretty, pretty cool. I quite like that one. Let's do that one. So here we go. There are more trombones on Earth than there are humans. I think these facts are slightly dubious, I have to say. Oh, God. Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> Shocking behaviour and comp Look, I got a B. Still got a B. <laughs> right, let's do a proper one.
thought it was going to be scuffed tonight. What's this? I don't know that one. <laughs> I know, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I think I was... Let's play that one. I think I'm so scared of this blooming game. Because it's so bad. Where am I? Oh, it's giving me a good start, isn't it? Oh no. E. E rank. <laughs> yes. We love this game. One more and then we'll start with the proper stuff. If anybody sees anything they like, <laughs> just shout out. Oh God, that sounds terrible. Terrible. That sounds far too fast. <laughs> oh god, that sounds terrible as well. Oh god, that's far too that's far too bad. What about that one, eh? Right, this is it. This is the one. This is S rank coming up.
Fantastic. You, you... <laughs> oh, look at that. I think they were being very, very, very kind to me there. Anyway, there you go. Fantastic. We loves it. So there you go. Ten minutes of... Uh, ten minutes of trombone there from the other night. How the hell did you get out of this thing? <laughs> Quit to desktop. Please do that as soon as you possibly can. Right. Okay. Now... <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, ten minutes is up. Fantastic. I can take this damn thing off now. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. It's all, all horribly, horribly wrong. Right. Let's get to the main event. Hope you enjoyed that anyway. It's a bit of a laugh. <laughs> it is a bit of a laugh. I love that game. It's brilliant. It's really good fun. Okay. So, Shadows of Doubt. Let's see what this is all about. thinking uh, new game right let's go the dead of night specially crafted case to introduce the game <laughs> thank you as, as I say I saw somebody else play it on their stream and I thought that is absolutely great fun for 10 minutes no longer than 10 minutes let's go there let's go there uh, let's go. I might have to put the sound down a little bit. Oh, also, I need to do something once we get into this. Would you like to enable a tutorial text on? Okay, let's go. It's the late 20th century. Oh, it's very noisy. <laughs> now, this might stutter a little bit to begin with. Hyperindustrialism has swept the planet. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first elected mega corporation president in history, Starch Cola. Okay, we're dropping down. Cameras on a drone. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Workers dream of escaping to the fields, an exclusive retirement district few will ever see. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by the privatised starch cola enforcers. It looks brilliant, doesn't it? Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. Shadows of doubt. Dun, dun, dun. The dead of night. 0.51 a.m. Tuesday, January 3rd. Your apartment. Okay. Uh, awake again. So cold. Turn on the bedside lamp. Okay, lamp. No use just lying here. Turn on light switch in the lane. I can run by holding left shift, crouch using C. Okay, can I switch that one? Yes, okay, we're off. Nice, zippy. Hang on two secs though, because I want to change something here. Settings, streaming. Uh, I can connect this. Oh God, where's the game going? And then on, update. So this means that now the citizens that are in the uh, world 
should be, you might see your name come up as citizens in the world. Which should be quite cool. Uh, right. F. Resume. I'm on the mouse and keyboard <laughs> in case anybody's thinking, oh my god. Uh, right. Because that's not my... Uh, where the hell's the light switch here? Okay, that's the kitchen. Oh, let's put that on. Okay. It's not looking good out there, is it? Uh, okay. I like the fact that you zip around. Pick up. Hello? Who is this? Hmm. Search the apartment for clues. How's the volume? Is it loud? It sounds slightly loud in my ears, but it might not be for you guys. You can't hear the game. Okay. Interesting. Uh, okay. That could have been... I told you it was going to be scuffed tonight. <laughs> right, we're off now. Off and running. There's a note under the front door. This is what happens when you start start streaming with about five minutes to spare. Inspect. There we go. When you inspect an item, it brings up its evidence window. This could be pinned to your case board for, for, for future reference using the pin at the top. Okay. Pinned items are displayed as icons that you can move around on the board by dragging their pin. You can position these items as you wish and select them to bring up their evidence window. Facts or connections are displayed as string. You can mouse over these to see more info. You can use F to pause at any time and examine your case board. Okay, so select the name Oni Johnson and pin it. Pin the note to your case board using the red pin and close the case board with F. So we've got name Oni Johnson, photo we don't have, voice ID, we've got no connections, we've got nothing. Close the case board with F. Pony Johnson, never heard of him. If this is a job, it's a lousy way to do business. Okay, so we obviously can pick locks and move between and, uh, move between rooms. There's a key. Take the key. Oh, okay. What's this? Eraser? I don't know whether... It, to access your inventory, use X. This opens a menu displaying your current inventory. Okay. What's this? Paperclip? Keep a lookout for paperclips and hair bits. These can be used for picking locks. Oh, very good. What, what's that then? Why can't I pick that up? <laughs> Damn. Okay, city directory. Where the hell the city directory would be? What's that? I'll take a battery. Batteries are always useful in games. Hairpin, thank you. I'll take that. Uh, the directory might be beside the phone. Very old school. Okay. City directory. Look up Oni Johnson in your uh, city directory. Or Johnson, that would be, wouldn't it? Uh, city directory. Uh, Johnson. Right. Uh, Oni Johnson. Okay. And pin that there then. Close the case board with F. Whatever it is, I'd better go prepared. Oh, here's another. Find old detective equipment. Uh, okay, maybe in here. The key to my old police stuff was lost in the last move. But I could pick the lock. There's got to be something I could use around here. Okay. Well... <laughs> 
Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hey, imagine Swan not being um, subscribed. That's shocking. <laughs> Keep a lookout for paper clips in here. But yes, we've got that one. Yes. Each lock has its own strength. When you start the process by interacting with the door handle or lock, the indicated bars will tell you how many picks you need to complete the lock pick. Okay. You can also use lock picks to sabotage security systems. Nice. Okay, so we don't have that. Imagine Zvon, the king of gifted subs, not actually being subscribed to the channel. That's terrible. But thanks very much, Van. I appreciate that. As I'm sure Zvon, Zvon does as well. Right, okay. Uh, so, I've got a keypad there. Wardrobe. Storage box. It's locked. Okay. Unlock the box by interacting with the padlock. Padlock. Two picks required. Lock pick. Nice. Open. Detective stuff. To access your inventory, use X. This opens a menu displaying your current inventory and status. The top group of items do not take up inventory space. These are for vital tools of the trade. The lower section features slots that can store other world items. You can drop or scan picked up items from fingerprints once an item... Ooh. You can assign hotkeys to inventory spaces by hovering over them and pressing the desired key. You can also view info about current status effects and how to get rid of them in the inventory screen. Okay. Uh, what have I got in there? Nothing. Open the case board with F and select the pinned 802 rose building. Okay, so we got F. Uh, pinned 802 rose building. Note found at 303. No, we don't need that. Select the pinned 802 rose building. I can't see the 802 rose building. There's nothing pinned there, is there? Am I missing something here? Uh, hello? Eight or two rows building. Okay. I need to go there. Plan a route to this location. Close the case board. Okay. Unlock the door to your apartment by interacting with the door handle. Open. Locked. Interact with the door handle. Okay, all right, so you have to actually look at the door handle. Uh, unlock. Nice. Can I lock it again? Uh, lock. Okay, we're off. Uh, this way. How are we finding it so far, folks? Are we enjoying it? What's this? A paper and napkin that has been used and crumpled into a ball. Yeah, but has it got something on it? Right, okay. So inventory is now full. So what have we got in there? Um, I've got an eraser, crushed starch cola. Well, we could drop that. I think we could probably. Drop. What's that? Okay, don't need that then. I presume we just go to the building and nothing we find on the way is really going to be that important at this point because. Ooh, footsteps. 
there's not a lift that we could be doing this. This is a very okay. It's a gorgeous looking game though, isn't it? It's amazing. Considering it's all procedurally generated. So it's never going to be the same any time you play it again. I think the, the town can be the same. Okay. Uh, we're on the 8th floor required. Yeah. How do we know which floor we're on? I presume it'll just tell us. That's the third floor. <laughs> Uh, I watch a guy called Insim uh, on Twitch. He plays a lot of horror games and he started to play this and I was like, this looks amazingly good fun, but very complicated. <laughs> and I wasn't terribly sure whether my brain would be able to handle what was <laughs> going on with it. So I thought I'll buy it and then uh, I was going to play it and then I thought actually I wouldn't mind again and um, playing it on stream because if I end up playing it on stream then it'd be better for everybody to go through the tutorial uh, with me so that we all understand how I'm well, what I'm trying to do basically right to know if a door is locked or not you will first have to try and open it locked doors can be unlocked by focusing on the door handle if you have the correct key for the door you'll see an interaction option okay locked so can I oh, knock on the door? Okay. Breaking and entering. When breaking into a room, it's a good idea to check for cameras. If you're worried about them, you can turn them off by using the security breaker box connected to the camera. You can trace the red wires from security systems to find these boxes. They will themselves require lock picking. In residential properties, it's worth checking under the doormat for a key. Most rooms will feature some kind of ventilation system. When struggling to find a safe entrance, this could be a great way in. Oh, I'm loving this. Uh, if in a rush or out of other options, you can also break down the door. This might take several attempts and is very noisy. Okay, so let's uh, crouch. Check underneath. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, see how we do here then. Ooh. Depending on your okay, if you find yourself somewhere you shouldn't be, you'll gain you gain a trespassing status. If it appears in orange, citizens citizens with authority, <laughs> uh, citizens with authority will ask you to leave immediately. If it's red, they will attack. Ooh. So just as you may want to be careful about entering, it's often a good idea to identify means to help you make a safe escape. Keep an eye out for air ducts you can escape to in a hurry, as well as hiding places like under beds. Okay. Uh, can we put the light on? <laughs> uh, light switch, okay. I'd, what? That sort of slightly took my eye away from there. I'm trespassing and now I've found a body. Right, we're on. We've got my detective's hat on. Everything's happening. Uh, look around for vents for a potential quick escape. Okay, vents. What's that? Why is that in red? Oh God. Uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should actually close this door first to begin with, and then let's have a quick look at. Ugh, there's cockroaches in here. Animal Crossing. Eat your heart out. Uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure it does, but uh, what's going on here? It's obviously it wants me to look at something there, but I can't find the light switch to put the... <laughs> There's a camera in the corner. Oh, aye, yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got a body here. 
Identify the body by finding a photo ID and find time of death by analysing the cadaver. Right, inspect. Uh, unknown citizen. Well, let's pin that. We've got that pinned, haven't we? Uh, this section archives everything. Okay. Uh, right. What's in there? Okay, that's custom case. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Uh, inspect. Right, okay, so I've basically unpinned things there. Let's not unpin them then. So we've got Oni Johnson. And we've got that there. And we've got this here. Let's try and move that up there. Okay, so... Um, Adult, male short, <laughs> build large, hair, short round hair, blue eyes, shoe size, three to five, estimate, glasses, yes. Okay. Don't know anything more. Connections, don't have any connections at this point in time. Uh, right, let's go. We obviously haven't. Search, analyze, okay. A bullet wound from low caliber ammunition. Eight millimeter and nine. Okay, so is that now pinned? Okay. From examining the body, it appears that the victim has been shot to death with a pistol or a revolver. I can determine the time of death is between 0 15 and 1 30. Tuesday, January the 3rd, 1979. Unknown citizen, new information. Is there anything more? Okay, so that's that. Linked to photo. Right, identify the body by finding a photo ID. Right, we need to find the photo ID then. Matchbook. Matchbook, don't need that. Well, maybe, maybe do need it, but who knows at this point in time. Oh God. I can't see what's supposed to be going on there. And I can't find a, another light switch, which is a bit annoying. I can't find a lamp or anything. Lamp, put that on. Right. Starch candy wrapper. Cooker. Is that light switch? No. That's the counter. Uh, tinned food. Maybe I have to go through into another room. Maybe it's through another way. Right, okay. Let's go in here. Uh, lamp. The safe is there. Light switch. Let's try and see what's going on. We're just going to have to take the risk that we get caught. Ooh, videotapes. Okay, handcuffs. Right, we'll drop that. Uh, drop. These are going to be useful, I think, at some point. Oops. Files. <laughs> Next page. Right, inspect. Okay, employment contract. Oni Johnson, uh, 802. Employee agreement, private confidential. This employment agreement is made as of 10th of the 5th, 1976, and between Oni Johnson and Goldburn Technologies. For the agreed amount of blah de blah, the employee undertakes not to disclose in any form whether or not should the employee disclose any item of information, the employer has the right to serve them with a notice consisting of immediate dismissal, enhanced interrogation procedures, private custodial detention of an unspecified duration, pecuniary sanctions including seizure and all private property and holdings of next of kin, any other measures deemed suitable by the Disclosure and Disciplinary Committee. Okay, so he signed that. Interesting. Is 
is that all the things? Okay, so we've got that there. Still haven't found a way out. Camera in there as well. Not good. Uh, I wonder if we can keypad. Use. Okay, so there might be a code. Passcodes and shadows of doubt are always four digit numerical. Say that again. God, that was quick. Crumpled paper, inspect. Keep for tax records. Not paid. That was at 2349. Added to tab. He's got a tab somewhere at the Jade King Lounge. Okay, that might be useful. Uh, still haven't found this ID. Where would the ID be, do you think? Uh, business card? Inspect. Uh, Goldburn Technologies, Oni Johnson, office manager. Yes, business card. It's not, that's not the photo ID, though. Remember your passcode this time, 1428. Okay, so here we go. 1428. Oh, yeah, baby. Sync disk upgrade vial. Jeez. Code breaker. All this stuff seems really kind of useful. Money can be used to buy items in the world. Acquire genetic upgrades for your character. Pay for information. Decorate your apartment or even buy a new one. Okay. So I've stolen the monies. I really th hope that the key card would be in there. Um, did I check everywhere here? Don't know what that flag's for. Okay. So there's nothing there. So where's this? Uh... Assorted books. Can't do anything there. I still haven't found any. Why is, why is there not a light switch in the kitchen? It's so annoying. And there's only so many places that the uh, key card could be. Oops. Matchbook. There's a lot of matchbooks lying about. Search. Code of an apple. Okay. <laughs> Simple as that then. Antique vase. Spect. No. Seems to like apples, this guy. Electric Love, the notorious novel banned for over 20 years. Mm. Seem to love scandalous text. Kitchen roll. I can. I wonder if that. I can hear something because that's a. Why does it want me to inspect that? That's the thing I can't work out. It wants me to inspect something, but I can't actually do anything with it. It won't. It must be outside. I don't know about, oh, that's a camera. That's the camera that's on, is it? Okay. <laughs> Wages of rot, no. Wrench. Uh, duct tape. Interesting. City directory. Everybody seems to have one of those. 
Okay, folks, where do we think an ID card would be? <laughs> I would have thought it would have been in the safe, or... Uh, running out of thoughts there. Okay, is there anything behind the flags? Or? Wallet with work belongings. I would have thought that. Uh, printed V mail. Thank you for recently contacting us to request life insurance policy. Unfortunately, our checks indicate that you do not meet the required social or economic requirements to be approved for one of our policies. Why not check out our range of alternatives for ex-offenders and thus less fortunate, such as our salary requisition scheme? Wishing you luck. Okay. Aye, 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 aye. Spectacles. Uh, inspect. Vision aids one. <laughs> okay, okay. What's this? Don't forget who owns you. Thank you very much, Phil. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you had a good time. Maybe see you again in the near future. Right. Okay, so... Hmm. I can't check it. Thanks for the lark as well. So I don't think there's anything more to see in here. Desk fan, turn on. Just in case it blows something out. Obviously not going to work. Oh my god. Spray. Right, that's a hiding place. Where the hell's the vent that it's talking about? It says to find a vent. Ah, work ID, good. <laughs> At last. So now you just need to find the vents. But where the hell's the vents? That's a light, so that's not going to... Pull back, I can just. Oh, there's a door handle there, is there? Jeez. That's why, because <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> That's Oni, alright. Okay, I should search the place for clues. Uh oh. Uh, fingerprints. Each citizen in the city has a unique fingerprint. You can scan for them using the fingerprint scanner device in your inventory. Okay. Point the scanner where you want to scan. Almost all surfaces can contain fingerprints. Unknown fingerprints will be found in sets, with set A being the first you find. Any matching prints will also be labelled to that corresponding set. For example, if you find set A at an apartment and subsequently at a bar, you can prove a citizen was in both locations at some point. Use right mouse button to inspect fingerprints after you find them to pin them to your case board. Fingerprints may disappear over time. Good God, that's not good. Uh, we've got here perfume. Right, so X. Uh, Scanner. Okay, and then X to close. Each sits in the city. Okay. Uh, 
Well, surely... Yeah. Why can't I do that, then? I would have thought that would have been the first... Search for clues at the crime scene. Check for recent calls. Get victims prints. Select your prints count right here. Uh, let's go. Taking print. Five four one five four one four zeros one two three four. Last oh, telephone number five one five three four nine nine. Unknown citizen. Okay, search for clues. Through here. Uh, that's gone away now, obviously. There we go. Ah. So uh, inspect fingerprints. Okay. Type A belongs to our perp. Okay. Anything else you want me to scan while I'm at it? It's worth checking out the address book. It may be useful to pin this. Yeah, okay. It's a city directory and address book. Lorcan, 503 Novak House, Sahana, Rose Building, Irie, Rose Building, Elizabeth, Violet, Licky, Ling, Zalissa, Mosi. Okay, so a whole heap of people. There's another person, in, a couple of people in the Rose Building. A lot of people in the Rose Building. Okay. Whoa, there's a lot happening here. <laughs> it does want me to take another. Tonight, you need a piece. Go to Cotton DIY Company, knock, then give them. Okay. Give them the password Mulberry. That sounds interesting. Inspect. Tired of nothing. In the V mail, but bills. Sign up to Dove today to find out that to find that special someone. Okay. Uh, calendar. Sometimes it's useful to search the trash. Okay. I thought I'd done that already. Meet Kira at the Indigo Hair Kitchen. Be careful what you say. Right. I think it's only F. Okay, the indigo here. <laughs> There's a lot of information, yeah. Okay, so this is where we've just seen. Uh, go to the Indigo here and meet Kiara or Kira. Uh, thank you. Okay. Ay, 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 ay. Right, so. Uh, just done that. Don't need it anymore. 
Receipts from Indigo Hair Kitchen earlier this evening. Better use the print scanner for scanner for prints. Yeah, okay. I was kind of doing that at the time. Nothing. Done that. Yes, so I've done that one. Uh huh. I wish they disappear from the. Uh... Oh, type B. Who does this belong to? Uh, shoot. Oh God. Not being seen is your best chance of survival. The central cursor displays the information you need to stay hidden. The dot in the very middle of the screen displays how hidden you are. A hollow circle means you are completely obscured and others will only notice you if you get extremely close. A filled in circle means you are completely visible. The colour of the outer eye shape displays if someone or something can see you. If it turns red, a citizen or security system has spotted you, so it's time to run. When things go wrong, you may choose to resort to combat. To do this, select your fists using the inventory menu. You can choose to punch or block. If you block at the right time, you'll automatically perform a counter move that knocks out the other citizen. Be careful, detective. Violence can escalate quickly. Uh, okay. So, oh jeez. Oh no. Shoot, shoot. How do I get under here? I have to escape the building. Are they still there? I thought they just meant hide. Now I'm in trouble. Right, let's try and get out. Why can I not do that? Come on! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to resort to violence here. Here we go. <laughs> no. Why can't I get up on there? It said that's where I need to go, obviously. But it won't let me jump up. Oh god, there's two of them. Slightly annoying. Oh god. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was never gonna really work, was it? Two guys with guns against me with my fists, not really knowing what was happening. I don't understand why it made a big deal. Collect a murder case resolution from City Hall. Uh, it may be a big deal. About me actually finding that vent and then it wouldn't let me. Actually use it. Which seems a bit weird. Anyway. Uh, Let's find out what's going on there. I'm glad we're all learning together, though.
I used to be a detective. Okay, case tree. Oh, we'll have that then. Collected the dead of night. Okay. View your case objectives by using the resolve button on top right of the key case board screen. Resolve. I have no idea. Not quite there yet, are we? Right, okay. Uh, so this is what I need to fill in, basically. So I'm going back here again. <laughs> I could pay a visit to Goldburn Technologies. That's where Oni works. Are you used to? Okay. Where do I find that? Oh, I could check out Indigo here. Kitchen. Right. Uh, let's go. Uh, receipt. Okay. Where was the receipt? Give me the receipt. Okay. Indigo here. Let's go there. Nice. Oh god. In Shadows of Doubt there are almost always multiple ways to carry out an investigation. Here are the current available leads. Choose one as a start to be guided through. Remember, in the main game, you'll have to think for yourself, detective. In addition, due to the simulated nature of the game, some leads could be dead ends. Just part of the job. If you think you've enough information to solve the case, fill in the resolution form using the button in the upper right. Okay. Investigate the diner. That's where we're going. You can change the lead at any time by using the button in case resolution. I love the fact it's all uh, snowy now. Am I still crouching? No. It's a quick little thing. Indigo here. Right. Commercial properties often contain a wealth of information in privately accessed rooms. Usually to access this you'll need to find a key code for the door. You may be able to find it hidden around on a note. Your other options are to bribe the staff or use a device called a code breaker which you can purchase from the vending machines at City Hall. You will not be allowed in this room, so make your approach stealthy and avoid or disable security systems by using the breaker box. Take me half off of it then. Oh. They should have surveillance footage in their office, might need to sneak in. I'll need to get the passcode. What's this? Book club? No, we don't need that. I don't have it to suggest. What have we got here? Job list. Okay. So I think this is the other thing you can take on in the main game. You can take on different jobs. Who's this dude? What's your name? Keep your nose out of my business. Okay. Okay. I don't think we're going to get anywhere with this guy. Uh, well, we don't have a... Okay, fair enough. Let's not act too sus round about here. Uh, store room.
I don't know whether I should um, try the health inspector. As if I tell you. Okay. Uh, are you gonna let me in? No. Oh no 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 no. Oh, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was just chancing my arm. Right. Can I go back in? Are they gonna hassle me as soon as I go back in? No. Cool. Uh, there's so much stuff on the floor here. I mean, am I literally inspecting everything here to try and work out what's got maybe a code or something on it? Surely not. Yes, that's what I'm trying to find on a note somewhere. Okay. To all employees, the door code to my office has been reset to twelve ninety nine. Okay. Uh, I don't really think I should kind of just walk straight up there, though. Do we think? I don't think so. Shoot, let's try. Can I only get find out once? Crunchers are digital personal computation devices. They're common in most apartments and white collar workplaces. If you know a citizen's passcode, you can log into their account. From here, you may be able to find a wealth of information. Once logged on, you'll be able to access vmails, which are personal or work related messages sent between citizens. You also, may also be able to access a variety of other apps, including security and surveillance, as well as employee databases. If you find useful evidence on a microcruncher, don't forget to print it using the on-screen print button so you can pin it to your case board. Code breaker devices can also be used on crunchers for acquiring passcodes. Jeez, as if it wasn't already complicated enough. CCTV cameras have two functions, to alert instances of security threat, but also to capture surveillance stills throughout the day. You can often use the latter as a valuable source of information. Okay. Surveillance footage will capture a citizen's likeness and if they also work at that location, their name. Crunchers only store surveillance information for about 24 hours. You can print stills from CCTV surveillance to use as evidence. Okay. Uh, Unknown citizen. Unknown citizen. So we can only do that. Uh... God, there's so much going on here, isn't there? So that's all the cameras. Uh, 
Good grief. See anybody uh Okay, so we turned off the camera. First name Kayla O'Brien, 1299, 1401 Rosebill. So she's in the same building. Uh, which is good. And return. Oh, damn it. Exit. Uh, Vina. Starch breakfast. Uh, monthly starch cola business breakfast is approaching. All employees are required to attend. You will receive one waffle, one sausage, and one can of starch. You will have 30 minutes for eating and appreciation. <laughs> Thank you for telephoning with an inquiry. Here is your quote for pest removal services. Okay, so kill and clear, anti spore treatment, kitchen and bathroom. Incidents. Hey Kayla, real quick question. Can you send me your team stats for this year's safety incidents? You can include the explosions, collapses and depressurizations, but don't bother with the dismemberments. Thanks. Seriously? <laughs> you have a match. Dear Kayla, our relationship engineers were a little taken aback by your list of interests, but we're delighted to see you have a match. Also, loves historical roleplay and is excited to recreate the Battle of Betonta with handmade props. Let's not go too far further into that. Uh, I do not wish to see a repeat of last year's debacle. Attendance at the Candor party is mandatory and we will be checking names against the payroll lists to ensure that you are present. We expect you to enjoy yourself. Thank you in advance. Hi Anthony. Notice you asked for a pretty substantial raise, 5%. Wow, that's an interesting number. Let's meet up and discuss how you can earn it. Maybe taking on janitorial duties, unless you've got other suggestions. Good grief. Uh, there's loads of it. Hey. Hey, honey bunny. Okay. Just a note to say that I believe in you. Don't let them bring you down. Love, Mad Madna, Medina. Uh, hi, Alexis. Okay, there's another one. Uh, right. So there doesn't appear to be anything particularly... Hang on a minute, what did that say? Rumbled. Dear Lanfin, I've noticed you called in sick on the 8th, 13th, 21st and 29th of last month. I cannot help but notice that it's, these ex correspond exactly with Starch Cola Sugar Birds home games. I have my eye in the schedule from now on, and you are on notice. Okay, so we've got that, that, that. Founders Day dinner. Butler, heard from the cleaners that you've been up to no good here after hours. Did you seriously think you could deal <laughs> under my nose? You have until the end of the week to either resign or confess. I'll be watching the tubes. There's just so much stuff. Okay, so this is obviously her partner. Don't forget to pick up milk in the way home. Oh, hang on, though. Concepcion Cacheris is also saying. Mm. Alexis, you saw nothing, okay? We never matched on Dove, and I didn't indicate any particular preferences in my ad if we did, right? <laughs> okay.
Right, okay. Uh, that's all of it now. Eight pages worth. Are you having a laugh? We won't be going through all that, surely to God. Right, employee database. Uh, database search. No. Where's the space bar? I don't think they worked here, but I'm just trying to see if there was any. Nah. Okay. There doesn't appear to be anything on there particularly that we need to look at. So, a bit bizarre. Maybe it's just to. Uh... Lipstick. Okay. One for Ken. Uh, ooh. Bunnies. Lighter. Don't need any of that. Lipstick. Lots of lipsticks. Matchbox. Apple coat. Everybody seems to love apples in this thing. Paper stack. Keypad. Uh, I don't want to arm that. Okay, that's the back. Oh god. So what am I in here for then? Ooh. Inspect. Right, Alexis Jones. been displaying signs of a short temper. Several warnings have been issued about this already. Always conversing about sports. Interesting. Uh, ooh, okay. So has the boss been... Uh, Always conversing about sports as well. Hang on a minute, so type D. Right, okay, hang on a minute. Uh, he's type C, so we don't need to worry about that because it was type B, the fingerprints we found. Several reports of flirting with other employees, strong character, pose a distraction to other staff, has a strong work ethic and a desire to succeed. Always conversing about sports. They all <laughs> smoke. Weird. They all like the uh, sports. Kayla O'Brien. Yes. Flirting with other employees. Ambitious employee. Always conversing about sports. Okay, so she's got an interest with our man just done there. Eleanor Johansson. Uh, they're flirting. This place just seems to be a bit of a pickup shop. Hang on a minute. Type F. So all these, none of these people appear to have the. Uh, God. None of those appear to have the uh, fingerprints that we're looking for. Oh, let's take that. Uh, so we could hack that, but I don't know whether we. Oh, that opened. I didn't expect that to open, actually. <laughs> Paper stack. Okay, that's obviously not important. Diamond. 
Ooh, nice. Commemorative baseball and perfume. I don't need a permit in there, no. Right. Uh, okay. Don't really need to take to do the breaker because I've turned off the cameras at the computer. Right, I'm not a hundred percent. Where's my? Uh... Don't mind me. I'm just uh... starting soon. Charlotte Heights Anonymous Support Group. Come and share the load. Go to this Oni. You'll feel better for it. Tell them Kira Simmons sent you. Okay. Uh, I've got so many notes open. <laughs> Thanks, Kerry. Thanks for the lurk. Uh, let's see what else I could be doing here. Okay, this is incredible in terms of the amount of detail that it goes into. Okay, what I'm really looking for is... Um, To just get the main things it wants me to do up, which I can't quite. Why has it got that there? Okay. Is it? Who's this Kira? Whoever they are, they are mixed up in some bad business. So open the breaker box. Okay. Uh, Complete questions. Open the breaker box. Look for Oni on surveillance entries from around 2245. Right, okay. So they want me to actually open up the breaker box here. Lockpick. Oh. <sighs> Oops. So I wanted to check the security system. Uh. Yeah, okay. So it's said to, to look for Oni. But I can't find it. That's not like... Is it 22.45 on uh, Tuesday? Is that what it said? Uh, 
Ah, right, okay, so this is now telling you. Oh, right, I get it now. So these are the people. Oh god. Uh... Ah, why can I not move? I, this is terrible. Okay, so I've knocked them down. <laughs> God, <laughs> this is going horribly. Uh... She's in the Rose Building. Take key. Take money. Fourteen oh one Rose Building. Right. Monday at Indigo here. Find Kia Simmons. Use the city directory. Okay, so we've got that. She seems to be mi mixed up in stuff. So we're going to have to do that. And then shut that. Uh, and then resume. Okay, so she owns this. How do I change this to Monday though? Because that's Tuesday. Ah, Monday, there we go. Damn it. 22. that off again and then why wouldn't it let me if it's asked me to do Monday why wouldn't it let me do ah okay there we go that's only but who are they with Who's this Kiara? Whoever they are, they seems to mix up in bad. Oh, she's getting back up again. Do you want some more of this, do you? Right, I need to get out of here. Because I'm obviously in... Got a broken leg. <laughs> oh god, it's all gone horribly wrong. How do I just get out? Uh, I'd like to do that. Right, let's go. Okay, 
I thought I might be able to just escape out the back door here, but this isn't what I really wanted to happen. So I'm going to have to go back in. Oh, can I get down the side of it in a way? Find Kira Simmons, use a city directory. So where do I get where would I get a city directory? Uh, sink clinic. Can I go in here and get repaired? Alright, oh, okay. I need to have a disc thing. God, there's so much going on in this game. City direct there must be a city directory here, isn't there? Is there? What's the one place I go to? What's that? That actually doesn't have a city directory. Okay, there's a lockpick here. That's empty. Packing tape, screwdriver, a battery. I tell you, they're very uh, accommodating in here. Oh, what's this? Can I repair myself here? Vending machine, bandage, bind up wounds, pain relief, antidepressant, IBS, somnambulism. Oh, that's what I need. Kind of fun. Okay, how do I use that then? Or does it just automatically... Okay, apply. Is that just it? Right, I seem to have... Right, okay, so I've now got that in my... But I'm now mobile again. Superb. Right, that was good. Uh, right, let's find our way to this Kira. Blade Runner-esque soundtrack, isn't it? I just, it's completely blowing my mind that this is all procedurally generated and it's just kind of working its way out. It's joined up all the dots itself to create this. Where are we? Got only the sixth floor, got another eight floors to go. I wonder if we can, can actually get in that lift. Oh, I want to go up though. Now we discovered it. Uh, elevator controls.
think we've kind of broken the way we're supposed to do this. We're supposed to find the city directory and then find where she lives, but I think we've already met her and st Ooh, this is very penthouse-ish, isn't it? somebody in here and the camera's on nightmare all I really want to do is find the city directory and knock off that uh, Maybe I shouldn't be here. Let's uh Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> Tell you what, if somebody opened the door to my house and wondered about there, I'd know about it. Um right, okay. Find that city directing to begin with and get directed to the next thing. This is just a tutorial as well. Very complex and complicated. Okay, so Lots of people milling about. There must be a city directory somewhere, just like beside public pay phones or something like that. Let's uh, get a bit of reorganising here. Oh god. Couple of paper. Okay, so there's a bit of a Kalo Prime. Let's get this over here. Then we've got the Rose Building. Dress book. This note is simple paper. Right, now we can see what's kind of going on. 1401 the Rose Building is for her. Kira Simmons, who's. who's this mysterious person. Indigo here. Kitchen. It's from over there. We don't know who this fingerprint type B is yet. Something to do with. That's the time of the murder, I think. And then we've got a note there. Find Murray Johnson. Right. Do we have in here Kira Simmons? Ah, ah, ah. Do we think that's who it is? Let's go and check.
do we have a... Is that a dead... Ah, uh, I thought there was a directory maybe there. No. I'm trying to look at public places and think, where would there be a city directory? So we can check that. Oh, back over. Uh, So we've now locked that. So hopefully. We can now start to identify. Uh, maybe if we looked for. Fingerprints. See if these match the type B. Type H. Okay, so that's maybe not who we're looking for. you can do hacks. Uh, could possibly be her. hard to work out, isn't it? It looks like there's fingerprints there. It's definitely her fingerprints, so she's not the killer. Maybe a passcode this time, 6662. Nice. Whoa. All of the monies. Yeah, that's definitely her. Okay, so she's got diabetes. Uh huh. Goldburn Technologies. She's an employee, and okay. So she's got the same contracts. Is she a colleague of a uh, man? I should be getting enhancements. Oh, okay, specs. 
landlord and the tenant. Okay. This is the, the amount of detail on this is just incredible. Okay. Uh, so I don't think we've got anything new from there. I'm making money like crazy though. It has to be said. Whoa. Dude. Business card. Gold. Oh, she's head of HR for Goldborn Technology. Okay. Interesting. They're all type H. She's, it looks like she lives by herself. Yeah. Okay, so we could. Pr oh, God. Who's that? How do I get out of here? I should have checked that first, really, shouldn't I? There's a vent up there, but I can't see me. I can't jump that high to get up to that. Oh, there's a camera there as well. Oh my god. I don't want to be in another... Is that somebody coming in? Somebody's coming in. Nightmare. Stay safe, Oni. Okay. This is interesting. Can we log on? Oh, a micro cruncher. Shh, jeez. Okay. Uh... Oni, please listen to me. Get out of the house now. Violet is coming for you. If anyone comes saying they know me, don't open the door. Go somewhere safe. Don't come here. I'm sorry, Kira. Oni, you're scaring me. I'll be there. Please don't do anything until we can talk. Kira, I have, I have to see you. You're the only one who understands. You'll help me get my head straight. Can't say more on here. Meet me at Indigo Hair Kitchen at 10.45. I'll explain. Make sure you aren't followed. I hope you're well out of it, but just in case. Uh, 
Hate to say it, but I was worried this might happen. I'm pretty sure I saw Ronnie hanging around with some low life recently at that place, Jade King Lounge. You're too nice, Kian. I can't th help everyone. Think of yourself for once. Why can't I print that? Oh, is that because it's like... I uh, hope you don't mind, but I need some advice. Don't know who else to ask. It's about Oni. He came by tonight, but I could tell something was wrong. And when I asked what was up, he just said he had to go. I'm not an idiot. I know. Oh. Does that scroll? No. Uh, okay. Where was the printer, do you think? Because it said you could print it out and put it in your thing. No, I don't need that. Beta blockers, I don't need any of that. Does that just go into your... Uh... If it just goes into your thing. No, it doesn't. So where? Where's the printer? Ah, there. Okay. Take. Okay. So there was that one, and then there was another one, wasn't there? It was a bit violet. So I take that, and then there was another one, uh, Nahia. Jeez. Get loot. <laughs> it's a long way down from there. Oh no, it's only the fourth floor here. Jesus. Right, so we've got a bit of information there. Let's just take stock if we can. Just, I think I've been hit again. Um, so we've got all this stuff printed in mail. Business card. Where did all, oh, did I not pick it? I did. I picked it all up. Where is all that stuff gone? Uh, there's uh, other stuff. Connections. Right. So we've now got people like Nahia involved. Interesting. The thing I don't know is what happens if you want to just stop now. Save game. Oh god, we haven't saved at all. <laughs> oh 
Okay. So that's quite cool. Um, I'm not quite sure what all this stuff does. No, cancel that. Right. Well, I think what I'll do is actually... I think I'll just call it there. Um, I know we're kind of halfway through things at the moment, but I think it's very, very complicated, quite complex, um, and I don't think we're going to resolve this tonight. But I, I, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, hopefully everybody else did. Um, I really wanted to play it, as I say, and uh, just hope that it would actually be quite good fun. I don't know whether or not I would play it again on stream. Um, I think it's probably one of those games that I personally would, would get a lot out of, but I need to play it at my own pace, which is probably quite slow in comparison to the way it should be played. Um, so I think it was good fun um, to do it on stream, uh, and I think, hopefully, as I say, you did enjoy it. But it might be just a one-off for this sort of bonus episode on a Sunday. So, um, yeah, I should be back tomorrow night to start the Peens Creek Killings, which will be more of a um, an actual story-based game, if you like. So we'll start off, and I think that takes a good few hours to get through. So uh, it'll be a number of streams, but we'll do Monday and Wednesday this week with that. I think it's going to be a little bit more uh, linear than this. Uh, and certainly shouldn't uh, take quite as long. I think there's a story driving the whole thing through as opposed to you just stumbling across stuff uh, that this is. But, I mean, the game is fantastic in terms of actually trying to link things together. It's obviously all in that sandbox, and you just need to wander about and find it all. I think, <laughs> yeah, two hours went fast today, it did. Um, thanks very much for hanging about I think most people have disappeared on it and I think most people kind of half liked it but uh, it, it seems I don't know, you can tell me Tana is that a kind of game that you would watch a lot of I think uh, for me I think it's more of a play it yourself game than a play it on stream game uh, or you would watch it, that, that's interesting um, maybe it's just because it's a Sunday night and people want to do other things and get ready for their work or whatever in the morning um, but I've, I've seen sort of, you know, eight people d dwindle down to four people to three people. Um, so it's obviously not floated everybody's boat there, but uh, it is getting on uh, in the UK and people will be getting ready for work, etc. in the morning. So anyway, uh, very interesting game. I think I'd like to play more of it. Whether or not I do it on stream or not it remains to be seen. What I might actually do is uh, play more of it off stream to get to the end of the tutorial, uh, understand how to play it a bit better, uh, and then we might do a smaller zone or something like that when uh, on another stream, uh, uh, when I get a bit more proficient at it and I can zip about a bit qu quicker and actually uh, maybe we get to the end of a... But it's very intriguing. The fact that you're now stumbling across things and you think, oh, now they're involved. Who, how, do I, how do I find out about that? Where do I go to find that? Um, I definitely will play more of it. So the game's called Shadows of Doubt. As I say, it's uh, available in early access at the moment. And if that's early access, then mind-blowing what it'll be like when they actually get to the point of releasing it fully. But thanks very much for, for being with me tonight. A bit of a bonus episode on a Sunday. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll start the Payne's Creek killings. So thanks very much for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your day uh, and be safe. Cheers. Thanks very much, everybody. Bye.